In this video, we'll discuss how to shift weights or cargo to bring the ship to the desired trim. We'll cover how to calculate the amount of cargo to be shifted and determine the vessel's final drafts after shifting weights. Trim is the difference between a ship's forward and aft drafts. The vessel is said to be trimmed by the stern when the aft draft is greater than the forward draft, trimmed by the head when the forward draft is greater than the aft draft, and on an even keel when the forward and aft drafts are the same, meaning the trim is zero. In our scenario, the ship has already completed loading. The forward draft is 9.02 meters, and the aft draft is 9.48 meters. The difference between these two drafts is trim, which is 0.46 meter by the stern, since the aft draft is greater than the forward draft. Now, let's assume that after loading, the ship did not achieve the desired trim. Assuming that there is a draft limit, let's say the maximum draft is 9.30 meters, but the aft draft exceeded this limit. To maximize the ship's loading capacity, instead of discharging cargo, we will shift cargo from the aft cargo hold to the forward cargo hold to bring the ship to an even keel, meaning the desired trim is zero. We will be shifting cargo from hold number 5 to hold number 2. To achieve this, we need the forward and aft drafts, the ship's lengths between perpendiculars, or LBP, and the relative density of dock water, which in this case is 1.007. The given drafts in this scenario are the drafts at the perpendiculars. I've already made several videos showing how to determine drafts at perpendiculars. If you want to see the video tutorial, kindly check the link in the description below. We also need the longitudinal center of gravity, or LCG, of cargo hold number 5 and hold number 2, since these are the cargo holds involved in shifting weights. We can find the LCG values in the ship's stability booklet. Let's assume that this is the ship's stability booklet. In the loading plan, we can find the LCG for each cargo hold. For cargo hold number 2, the LCG is negative 26.90 meters. And for cargo hold number 5, the LCG is positive 32.54 meters. Now, it's common for a Japanese-made vessel that if the LCG or LCF is negative, it is measured forward of amidships. And when it is positive, it is aft of amidships. However, this is not always the case. On some vessels from other shipbuilders, a negative LCG or LCF may be measured aft of amidships, while a positive value indicates forward of amidships. If you notice this abbreviation besides the LCG or LCF, it means it is forward of aft perpendicular. The position of LCG in LCF is measured from aft perpendicular. A simple way to determine whether a negative or positive LCG value is forward of amidships is through inspection. In our case, the ship has five cargo holds, and we can be certain that hold number one is located forward of amidships. This means that the LCG of hold number one should also be forward of amidships. So, if hold number one has a negative LCG, as shown in this table, it indicates that all negative LCG values correspond to positions forward of amidships. On the other hand, if hold number one has a positive LCG, then all positive LCG values represent positions forward of amidships, and the negative values represent aft of amidships. The ship's length between perpendiculars, or LBP, can be found in the general particulars section of the stability booklet. In this case, the LBP is 137 meters. Once we have gathered all the necessary data, our first step is to determine the distance between cargo hold number 2 and cargo hold number 5. 
To do this, we use the LCG values of both cargo holds. The LCG of cargo hold number 2 is 26.90 meters forward of a midships, and cargo hold number 5 is 32.54 meters aft of a midships. To determine the distance between two cargo holds, simply add their respective LCG, disregarding the negative sign, since it only indicates whether the LCG is forward or aft of a midships. Therefore, the distance between cargo hold number 2 and 5 is 59.44 meters. Next, we calculate the ship's mean draft and use it to obtain the values for the moment to change trim by 1 centimeter, or MTC, and longitudinal center of flotation, or LCF. To determine the mean draft, simply add the forward and aft drafts, then divide the sum by 2. The mean draft is 9.25 meters. Now, let's refer to the ship's hydrostatic table and use this mean draft to find the corresponding MTC and LCF values. From the table, the MTC at a mean draft of 9.25 meters is 233.10 ton meters per centimeter. And the LCF is positive 0 0.98 meter aft of the midships, since it has a positive value. Since this hydrostatic table was developed when the ship was floating in salt water, our next step is to determine the actual MTC value, because our ship is presently floating in dock water. To determine the actual MTC, it is equal to hydrostatic MTC times the relative density of dock water divided by the relative density of salt water. The actual MTC is 229.01 ton meters per centimeter. Next, let's calculate the change of trim, which is equal to the desired or target trim minus the present trim. In our scenario, we wanted to bring the ship to an even keel, so the target trim is zero, and our present trim is 0 0.46 meters by the stern. Therefore, the change of trim is negative 0 0.46 meters. The negative sign indicates that the weight will be shifted from the aft compartment to the forward compartment. A positive sign would mean shifting weight from forward to aft compartment. However, even if we disregard the sign, it is easy to determine the direction of the weight shifting. Since the ship is currently trimmed by the stern, and we want to bring her to even keel, we will shift cargo from aft to forward cargo hold. This will reduce the aft draft and increase the forward draft to achieve the desired trim. Now, let's calculate the amount of cargo to be shifted using this formula. For the change of trim, disregard the negative sign as it only indicates the direction in which the cargo will be shifted. The MTC to be used in this calculation is the actual MTC. Since the MTC is expressed in ton meters per centimeter, we multiply it by 100 to convert from meters to centimeters. Then, divide the product by the distance between cargo hold number 2 and cargo hold number 5. The amount of cargo to be shifted is 177 tons. This is the amount of cargo to be shifted from cargo hold number 5 to cargo hold number 2. Now let's calculate the change of draft forward and aft to determine the final drafts. The change of draft forward is equal to length between perpendicular divided by 2 plus or minus LCF times change of trim divided by LBP. In our case where the negative LCF represents a position forward of amidships and the positive LCF represents a position aft of amidships, then simply follow the sign. If the LCF is negative, subtract. If it is positive, add. Disregard the negative sign for the change of trim. 
The change of draft forward is therefore 0.233 meter. However, take note, on some vessels the LCF sign may be reversed. If a negative LCF represents a position aft of a midships, and a positive LCF represents forward of a midships, then you must reverse the signs. Meaning, a negative LCF will be added, and a positive LCF will be subtracted. Now for the change of draft aft. It is equal to change of tram minus change of draft forward. Disregard the negative sign for the change of trim. The change of draft aft is 0.227 meter. Now let's proceed to our final step, calculating the final drafts. Apply the change of drafts to the present draft. Use the change of draft forward for the present forward draft and the change of draft aft for the present aft draft. To determine whether to add or subtract, well, let's analyze the scenario. Since we are shifting cargo from the aft cargo hold to forward cargo hold, the aft draft will decrease, meaning we'll subtract the change of draft aft. Meanwhile, the forward draft will increase, so we will add the change of draft forward. Now, the final forward draft is 9.253 meters, and the final aft draft is also 9.253 meters. Therefore, we need to ship 177 tons of cargo from hold number 5 to hold number 2 to bring the ship to even keel, with final drafts of 9.253 meters, which comply with the draft limit of 9.30 meters. That's all for now. I hope you found the video helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.